Hey there, folks. So, today I've got a Joy-Con and a Switch. The uh, point of this video is not the uh, Switch, it's just I wanted a working Switch to show that indeed this Joy-Con is not working. Uh, and trust me, it's not the Switch. I know it's not the Switch, I've already had both of these apart, and I know this thing works with the uh, Joy-Cons. Joy um, not gonna bother walking through everything not to take my word for it, uh, but let's let's tear it down and see what's going on. So a while back, I think I did a stream, maybe. Might not have been on YouTube, but I'm pretty sure I did a stream. Um, anyway, long story short, I bought a lot of broken Joy Cons and then a few other. Um, bric-a-brac Joy-Cons that were working or were not working, I don't know. Depends. I, I bid on just about everything under a certain price point and ended up with a lot of them. Uh, anyway, if you can see here what the problem probably is, is that that cable isn't plugged in. But a closer inspection might yield um, some insight not the latch on that ribbon cable just isn't there um, now a lot of people like if you were to ask for help on forms for something like this a lot of people will say oh yeah just pull that latch from another connector and swap that in I mean that's that's fine and dandy but I could just replace the connector just as easily so Let's give that a go and see if that helps. Um, I have already tested this Joy-Con and I do know that everything that does not rely upon this connector does work. Uh, so I know I can use it at least wirelessly if I charge it externally and then swap out the battery every time I want to, every time I need to recharge it. But that is obviously less than ideal. So let's see if we can't fix that. I think that's all we need to take out. I mean, aside from a couple more screws. But I just want this board. Forgive the background noise. I um, just got a new toy and I'm using it to finally catch up on some repairs that I've been needing to do. There we go. Oop. And speak of the devil, just finished. Uh, and unfortunately, I cannot use my hot air station on this thing because of or my hot air, my um, hot plate, because there's a very little capacitor right where my fingernail is, and that's going to get in the way. Or is it? Finish the update, I think. Yep. Ta da! Cool. That thing's working. Save it for another day. But I need the power cable. Route that around so I don't actually yank it off my desk. And. I'm thinking the easiest thing to do is just going to be to swipe that cap off and then I can use my hot plate. Not that this is necessarily the best way to do this, but I don't know. Feels appropriate to me. Gonna have a wonderful time reattaching it, I'll tell you that much.
but I'll make it work. Is that the cap? Yeah, okay. Good lord, they're so tiny. Cool. Now, the plan is... Spacer. Where am I gonna get a spacer? Is that spacing spacey enough? Ah, I think it'll be fine. All right. Load this up with some flux. And because I know the hot plate is not gonna be enough, especially just on that corner, we're gonna. Use some hot air too. I'm just using the hot plate as a preheater, I guess. But this is, I think it's a six layer board, maybe more. Um, which, and with leaded solder, which is gonna make this somewhat difficult. Actually, I don't even need to remove this intact. I just wanted to. So I could just hit it with hot air until it disintegrates and then move that way. Oh. But we're good. Ta-da! Right there. And to make my life easier... Get all that lead free solder off there. Excellent. And zero replacement comes in packs of 10 because of course it does. I'm sure there is a part number for this thing. I did not know what that was. I just searched Joy-Con um, rail FFC and browsed around until I found one that looked like the right one. And cha da! It's only a few dollars, so. It probably would not have been cheaper even if I did find the correct part number and ordered from a correct parts retailer um, because I was able to combine it with a few other things and get some free shipping so it worked out. Just put a little bit of solder paste on there. Ooh, the hot plate might be enough with this stuff. Just barely isn't. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's looking excellent. Except for that one ground trace. That's unfortunate. All right. I need a little bit more vertical height. Oh, that's perfect. Right, clean that up. 
that cleaned up. A little bit more flux. And which way does this go on? Okay, so on with the latch facing the back. I should use my tweezers because that's hot. Drown this thing in flux. We can still see the part, it's not enough flux. And then we need a little bit of assistance. All right, I think we're good. Whoop. Dropping hot glue everywhere. Yeah, I keep my hot glue next to my hot air. Of course I do. Huh? Huh? Seems to have worked. figure out a way to do this without getting flux all over my desk. But I don't think that's happening. You know what I should do though? Use my friggin' vices. Since they are literally for this specific thing type of thing, not this literal thing. Eh, could be better. Let's fix that. Oh, with that, button right there. I'm going to have a hard time. Uh, there. That'll protect it perfectly. Trust me. I'm just trying to reattach that very tiny capacitor. And I think I already have it reattached, but I'm not happy with the solder job. Boom. There we go. Only burn the tape a little bit. Flux in my vice again. <sighs> the only downside to these things is that when you get flux in them, they're a pain in the butt to clean. Not if, when. I don't really want to fully reassemble this yet. And realistically, I should clean that first. 
But... Oh yeah, I gotta clean it. There's... I can't even insert it. There's so much flux packed in there. Alright. Into the deep fryer it goes. I'll be back in, uh... However long it takes to clean this. Disregard that. I ran out of space to, uh... Dry things. And I had to take it out of my ultrasonic to get this. But anyway, it is clean and it is dry. Hopefully. Uh, oh, I probably should have cleaned this off, huh? Might have been a good move. Oh, clean enough. getting there. Jam that in there. And this isn't really enough to use it, but it'll be enough to see if it uh, gets recognized. So let's try it out. Oh good, it updated Fortnite. A Baby! Look at that! It's working! It even updates. Sweet! Let's reassemble it. I never actually tested the inside buttons because it was, uh... Oh wait, no, I did test the inside buttons. Because it only worked wirelessly. Um, I should let this charge a bit because that battery is probably stupid low. That's eh, not that low. Worked for a second. Battery depleted. Okay. But it's working. Huh? Alright. Let's reassemble. And we'll do more testing in a minute. Which screw is which? This one. Well, this thing's disgusting, isn't it? Just a little bit. So at the beginning of the video, I was joking um, about charging these batteries externally and then throwing it in here. That thing is covered in flux. That is a terrible idea. Uh, but I do actually have a jig that does that. The connector that these things use. Uh, is slightly proprietary. Uh, it is a customized version of an off-the-shelf part uh, and the customizations as far as I can tell are not significant enough to prevent the uh, off-the-shelf part from working. It is just a Molex ACHR battery connector but with slightly different tolerances. So like you got to be careful unplugging things from a regular ACHR. Like if you plug one of these into a regular ACHR, it's pretty easy to rip the connector off the board. So don't do that. But otherwise, it's close enough. It's a good thing this is the easy Joy-Con, right?
All right, for plugging this battery in, I can't get my fingers in there. And we do not use a tweezer on battery connectors or batteries. That is incredibly dumb. We use a plastic spudger or something that won't short the Jesus thing. Fold that over. Ooh, that ribbon is not in the right spot, is it? I'm gonna rip this Jesus thing, aren't I? No! Probably easier to just take this thing apart and do it properly. Or quicker, at least. There, now stay. Alright, so this thing has to come apart again at some point for the uh, remainder of the repairs I have to do, but I think this can wait in line because this is not the only Joy-Con that needs cosmetic repairs that I have. Oh, reshell it at some point. Maybe throw a new stick at it if it needs one. Probably needs new uh, buttons. Buttons tested good. Oh, never mind. And stick. So this one might be fully repaired, aside from uh, some cosmetic issues and that missing button. Uh, but we don't even need the missing button because the uh, latch in this thing is broken. So, you don't need the button to unlatch it. If I repair the latch, I need to replace the button. Okay. Holy reason. Let's try it out. Should have turned the switch on first. Ooh. Still a bit of kink. we unplug it, and if I have a good enough battery for this, yeah, huh, huh, yeah, I'm pleased with that, uh, control stick, sweet, oh wait, no, I don't want to do that, I wonder if it even had a calibration on it. If it did, it's gone. And it still works fine. Straight up is uh, more of a suggestion, it appears, but it's probably good enough. I don't imagine most games are going to be that particular. We either veer slightly to the right or to the left. I can't get it straight up, unlike the other directions. Oh, I can't do down either. Maybe it's a me problem. Whatever. Doesn't matter. It's close enough. I think it'll be fine. Uh, so now I just need to let this thing charge. And we're good to go. Um, until next time. I think that's all I've got. Uh, quick update. 
I haven't published it yet, but I'm getting ready to publish it. Uh, I did a video on repairing a switch, um, and the process was reflow the system, or the SOC, and then it worked. That was at least three months ago. It has been working since. I decided to take it apart today and finally clean out all the flux under the CPU. I think it still needs another bath because there is still quite a bit of flux in there. But realistically, I probably could have left it because, I mean, if it's still working now, I doubt it's ever going to die uh, from the flux at least. Uh, but it's still a little sticky and I've still got the ultrasonic ready, so I guess I'll give it another go and uh, until next time. I'm not going to update that other video, but um, just... Just know that it did work and it's still working. Uh, it worked perfectly fine before I took it apart and then I took it apart for no good reason to try and break it again. Uh, but at least it's clean now? I don't know. Uh, either way, that's all I got. I think I'm done for the day. I'll catch you all next time. Oh, and uh, I'll throw a link to these connectors in the off chance it comes up and anyone else needs them and they aren't finding them. Uh, but they're just off AliExpress. Like I said, it was only a few dollars, but I thought it was better than trying to pull the latch off and reseat it onto a broken connector. So either way, that's all I got. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching.